All right, so it's almost Christmas. It's about a week and a half away. Uh, I don't know if I'm uploading this video first or the last one, but as you can tell, I decorated the whiteboard, and I think it looks pretty good for what it is. Obviously, I still got the little on-air sign that you can't even see because of uh, depth of field just being shallow. But anyways, uh, today we're going to be talking about how to create presets for your export settings. Obviously, this is a very important time saver when it comes to, you know, exporting your videos and not having to put every single setting in order every single time because it's a lot of work sometimes if you have, you know, a specific reel format or if you have YouTube video formats that you want to constantly repeat over and over again and always have to tweak and change, you can just set a preset and never have to do that again. So I'm gonna make this video pretty quick, so let's go ahead and get into it. As you can tell, I got my reel already edited out and let's just say I, you know, I leave this as untitled because if you save it as a preset with the name, it's gonna save the name. So just keep it untitled if you, or just delete it. That way you don't have a random name every time and export it, you know, wrong location. You can leave that blank as well. Then you can go ahead and check the format. If you wanna make it an MP4, keep it as QuickTime, or you know, QuickTime is MOV. So it's up to you what you wanna do. Your codec, you can do H.264, 265, Apple ProRes, whatever codec you want, set that, set your resolution, if you want it vertical or not, and then your quality, I don't really change any of this really, and then your advanced settings, if you do color space or gamma tags like I do, set those, and then you can go ahead and do your subtitles if you want to burn them in, if your videos that you're going to be using are constantly having subtitles. But that's something I would do if I wanted to, you know, have subtitles for every single video, but I only do that for reels for the most part. To actually save the preset, just go up to the three dots up here, go ahead and go down to save new preset, once you do that, that, you can name your preset whatever you want all you have to do is just click okay and then you have your preset so I went ahead and just created a new preset and as you can tell you know just to show you that it actually works I have a GGG is a 720 square preset if I go down to reels it's gonna change it back to 1080 by 1920 so this video will probably actually come out after the sequence settings preset video. I made a video on how to set presets in your sequence. So if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that above somewhere in one of these corners. Yeah, go ahead and easily create presets for your sequence and your export settings. That way you can save, you know, half the time you take doing that. So yeah, I hope this little shortcut saves you some time. And if it doesn't, I'm sorry. I tried. <laughs> Have a good one. Yes. Yeah.